Don't stop. A family shop. Think Bayer. Come on, let's get rolling. Come on, let's get moving. Think Bayer. Welcome, Mark Wells, uh, BGSU alumnus, um, 1980 Miracle on Ice Olympic gold medalist. We're glad to have you back, Alumni Weekend here at BG. Um, you know, talk about your time at BG and uh, some of the memories you have here. Well, it, it was quite ironic as I was driving toward Bowling Green State University. It's it's been a long overdue process of coming back to see the university. My sister graduated from Bowling Green State University after I left. And uh, the, the basic thing that I thought about just driving was I couldn't believe that, that I actually was well enough after all the medical issues and back problems that I went through in the last uh, 30 years that I would actually be driving to one of the greatest four years of my life. <laughs> and I, I think one of the greatest, you know, there's so much here to remember, uh, more so than even the Olympics, uh, the gold medal. I was here for four years. I was, I was a walk-on player and uh, basically earned my little uh, place here in this beautiful locker room that I see. Um, I, I mean, it's incredible uh, what I'm seeing and it's, this is all natural. It's, it's, it's almost exciting to me and it, I got a little nervous uh, now that I'm in this beautiful locker room and, and to, to think back of uh, where Ken Morrow sat, where Tommy Thomas sat, Byron shut back in those days. And uh, Rob Blake, I want to know where he sits, because I missed him in 84. Uh, I, I do believe that, you know, driving here, those kind of memories went through my mind. And it was more, how was my inspiration for the college as I was driving? I wonder what it's going to be like now, after 35 years. And basically, I was a little nervous, um, not knowing uh, too much, because I was in... Uh, captivity of my own health uh, problems and uh, but Bowling Green State University and, 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 and I think most most people that attend college can say that the best years of their life and I've heard this as I got older and into my careers and I listened to great famous people they they always remember that they're, they're, they used to say to me their greatest years was in college and I said but she's never been to Bowling Green State University it, it had its little personal touch more so than uh, that I could, now that I've been to Michigan State and I've been to U of M, they're, they're quite large schools and, and of course, they, they, they financially, they're, they're a conglomerate, but Bowling Green State University, I found after so many years has, has put together some great, not only athletes, but great business people, great uh, figure skaters. I mean, they have a well-rounded alumni of great professionals that I've seen in the last 35 years. Uh, I'm sure other schools have their, their list, but uh, the ones that I see that come out of Bowling Green State University are uh, a little more special. Uh, they, they seem to uh, uh, be a little more personable than, than some of your, your other alumni uh, coming out of U of M. And I can compare it to Michigan because they always said I was a traitor because I went to Bowling Green State University. And I said, but, but there's a reason. I said, you should go down there and, 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 and take a visit and, and, and then you'll all know. So that, that's one of the things I, I you know, I, I do remember uh, some of the great moments uh, of, of winning some of the championships here. And, and Bowling Green was starting to get some national attention uh, through the CCHA at that time when they were, we were in that league. Um, so I, I was proud, I think, more so that, that uh, you, you know, the more I think, and, and I'll continue to think about Bowling Green from, from this point on, that it was the best four years of my entire life. And it prepared me for the Olympics. It prepared me uh, to take on a new frame of being an American hero. I never expected that. It was a, a, a miracle of, of, of all. That, that I can remember in all the sports, and it was true, but I was a participant. And I just came out of Bowling Green State University, so how much better could it get? Uh, that was the icing on the cake for me. I went to play professional hockey as best I could, but the, 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 the medical uh, situation with my spinal cord was, was taking its toll, and, and basically I, I said thank God for Bowling Green State University, and of course uh, that's, that's one of the reasons, and as I was suffering and, and going through a half a dozen surgeries and not being able to walk for many years, 10 years, basically in a bed, I was 
thinking what's going to keep me alive and what's going to keep me going. Well, the, the greatest feeling was to say, when am I going to get back? The reason I say that and I'm tearing up is because people called me from the university to ask me to come back. And I never told them. They only heard little articles knowing that the poor man's on his back. But they kept calling me. 30 years. They called me two years ago and I said, I got to get there. It inspired me to get here. And thank you for allowing me to come back finally. <laughs> that's awesome. That's, that's great. So, you know, the, obviously everybody's seen Miracle on Ice, the movie, and, and that sort of thing. You, you, Tell us about your memories, maybe of, Mir of, of the Olympics, and, and maybe some things that people wouldn't know about, well, about I, that experience. Well, I, I, I think that, that experience was, 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 you know, everything that I've done, I'm an uncommon man, I call myself, and I, I said everything I gotta do, I gotta fight for. And I fought to make the team. And uh, unfortunately, I broke my ankle that year, and I never played with an injury in my life, so I worked myself back. Her book sent me away for about eight months. I was in Montreal. I was drafted by Montreal Canadiens, and they basically were unsure of how I'd be as a player and because of the broken ankle. And of course, Herb Brooks uh, put me on a reserve list. And I said, what's a reserve list? Because I played at Bowling Green State University, and, and I, I, I can't, can't imagine getting 245 points and just throwing them away. I mean, that meant something to me, and I won championships. And, you, and, and unfortunately, Herb Brooks, you beat me in the NCAA semifinals in my senior year, so, you know, I'm not, I don't know what a reserve list is. He says, Mark, just, just do as I ask. He says, I don't think you can make it back to the team or make this team because of the intense practices and, and uh, schedules that he had set up for the Olympic team. And he was also incorporating a new type of European system with a combination of uh, like a hybrid of the, the European American and the Soviet uh, type system plus Canadian system. So. He didn't feel I could make it. And I said to him, I, I was very upset when he sent me away, and uh, basically I said, uh, I'm going to be back. And that, that's, that was my, some of the learning that I learned at Bowling Green State University. And, and, and we were never given up type players. We were, we were athletes here at, at Bowling Green. And, you know, we would die for, for, for who we played for. That, that's the type of people we are here at. Bowling Green, and, and, and that's, that's what was instilled in me. They actually say I'm a, have a little narcissism because of that. But I did eventually, uh, what, what the general public doesn't really know is I was the last man to come back into the Olympic team in 1980, and uh, I was on a special mission, and um, in the movie Miracle, it shows Ralph Cox getting cut, but it never showed uh, Mark Wells coming back in as a secretive player, a shadow player, and my mission basically, and I, and I loved it because I was such an offensive scorer here at Bowling Green State University, but I also was taught very well defensive positioning by Ron Mason, who was the coach of the Falcons uh, back in uh, the 75 through 79 when I played here. So I, I put it all together and I promised Brooks I'd be back and, and he was right. He, at Christmas he said, I, I'm missing something on this team. And, and, and it's the only thing in the movie that, that, that really inspired me is when he said, I'm not done with this team yet. And the only guy out there left was me on a reserve list. And I'm thinking, boy, I learned that a lot 15 years later that the guy, well, at least he was thinking about me. Um, and, and, and that, but that's the type of coach he was. I, I speak very highly of the man and I, I'm glad he gave me the opportunity. And, and like I said, uh, success comes in in big bunches, and it came real big in, in that bunch. Um, you know, it, like I said, uh, you know, I'm a faithful man, but I, I think it took the Lord coming down to, to help them 20 young young college kids come out and, and play against, you know, some of the, the professional teams. That, it wasn't just the Soviet Union. Czechoslovakians were men, and they were professional. All the teams were. Finland, Sweden, and, and, and we were just the youngest team there, and we were like a bunch of baby face. I looked at every as I got older. I said, Man, we look like little kids <laughs> playing against men. And I said, wow, it, it, I guess you could call it a miracle. You know, the boys beat the men and all the professionals, which is, uh, yeah, it was quite a thing to, to say that. Uh, but what people don't realize, I was the last man in, and I, I had a special mission. I was a shadow. Um, Petrov, uh, Kardamov, and some of the, the greatest in the world at that time. So that was, that was my claim to fame. And, 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 and I, I want to be honest with you. I enjoyed playing at Bowling Green State University and putting up with Herb Brooks for one year. 
<laughs> you you mentioned that success comes in bunches thing and circling this back kind of towards Bowling Green um, lately the program's been kind of rising a little bit I don't know how much you followed from afar over the past over the years what are what are you seeing out of the program and some of the successes that are coming I have uh, inquired even though I went through uh, some very difficult uh, years I've always inquired uh, to my best friend uh, Ken Morrow. Um, knowing that Ken Morrow was a, a scout of the New York Islanders and the director of scouting, that he would keep up with Bowling Green State University because he and I played seven years prior to, uh, together and four years was here at Bowling Green State University. However, we played another additional three years. So I kept in tune to, to, to the guys in 84 that, that won the national championship. And of course, I've been watching and, and hearing nothing nothing bad or nothing about the, the team. So. I, uh, I kept inquiring to Kenny, I says, are we rated? I, is Bowling Green State University a hockey team rated? And he said, yeah, yeah, they're 10th, they're 10th. And I mean, I did keep up with the program. However, I was itching to get here and, 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 and to do whatever I could to, to, you know, I get 25 more years of, of good life, I believe, and, and it'll be a contribution to, to uh, my college years. And I've got, uh, hopefully I, I can dream a little bit. And, and if we don't dream, we don't live. I have two young boys that, that are dying to, to pick up their sticks at the age of six and the age of three, and and I'll tell you what, they're they're they got that attitude like their father a little bit, like like no one's gonna push me around, and and we're we're, we're gonna be tough tough little guys. And I said, but you're gonna you have good discipline, uh, you know. So it's gonna be a challenge to raise them and and get them on the rink, and 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 literally, uh, they don't they sort of know who their father is, but. I, I think as they grow older, my, my goal is to expose them to who, what I've done in my life, and I, I don't want to ever expect too much out of them, and, and I will never put the pressure on, on little children to, to um, try to be as good or if not better, because something of that nature that like, took place in 1980, we'll, we'll probably never see that um, in my lifetime, and I've, I've heard others say it, Al Michaels said, I'll never see anything like it. However, I look at... Uh, you know, what prepared me, it was right here. It was four years coming in this, this beautiful locker room that I see and I love. I see that they're made out of nice plush wood. And back then we had our, our like cages. So yes, uh, I, 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 I'm so happy of the progress. And I spoke to the athletic director and some of the administrators here. And I said, you all have done such a wonderful job. I mean, if anybody's gonna see it different, it would have been me because I haven't been back. and. I'm just pleased to come back for the next 30 years. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll see my sons. Stuff, you know, at least come to the university. And my sister, she's always talking about, oh yeah, when I went and the team won the national championship days. Remember that, Mark? I says, well, we did pretty good. She, I says, you were just too young. You're, a she was at 12 years old when I played here in 75 through 79. Of course, she ended up graduating from Bowling Green State University. She was keeping the scorecard records about who was scoring the goals at, at 12 years old. And I'm thinking, why? And I just pulled those out the other day, and my and my mother has just recently passed, and she left me all her stuff. And I pulled out, there's there's my sister Lori, all her handwriting, all the score, John Markle, George McPhee, some of my players, and it just brought back these great moments and memories. And I said, I gotta go, I gotta go. And I kept praying one day that I'd, that I'd be here, and I am here, and, and, and that's just, uh, it's overwhelming to me. Well, Mark, we're, uh we're, we're so glad and proud of what you've done for BGSU, and we're so happy to have you back. Thanks for uh, hey. spending some time with us. Anytime, I'll be Absolutely. around. Perfect. Thank you.